Jason, you're the proud owner of this Grob machine here, which was installed, I believe, um, early part of the year in January. Um, how surprised were you when you were looking at a five axis machine that this was actually affordable to your company? I was very surprised. I've been looking around at a few other different manufacturers, predominantly new machines, hadn't realized that Grob had any demo machines. I'd seen YouTube videos of Grobs and I, I was very impressed I love the, the idea of it going upside down and the, uh, the, the high dynamics of the machine. If I'm honest, I always thought that they'd be too expensive. Um, so uh, I was pleasantly surprised when a quote turned up within a few days and mentioned it to Paul. And I thought, yeah, you know, I, think, I think we can, we can afford this. And, so. yet, and then with their support, um, looking at the commercial side, this machine then hit the deck. Yeah. You, you, it's, it's not the first five axis machine you've got though, is it? No, so it's not. I'd be interested to know what you see as the difference between your other machine uh, on a five axis basis and this here, with well, the different way it's configured and how it's yeah. built. Obviously the, the Grob is, is a horizontal spindle configuration. We've got horizontal machines here already. We haven't done that many jobs on the Grob yet, but one new job that we've set up we've already seen achieving a surface finish very easily. Uh, we're able to interpolate a bore and, and hold a size and achieve a really good surface finish without trying particularly hard. So all the things we talk about on our channel with the Grob machine, the upside down machining, the fact that the, um, the spindle buries into the tunnel, all of those things we talk about, how they can affect and and improve precision and reliability, you're actually a good case study to say that you can get really good results or better results as a Definitely. result of those things. Definitely, yeah. It looks like a compact working envelope, but actually you can get a bigger job on than, than you realise. With the spindle configuration going up inside the tunnel, you, you don't always have very much overhang with regard to the spindle coming out. You can use very short tools quite a compact spindle nose with regard to getting over the top of the pallet. So far it's it's proven really really beneficial. And the machine is quite highly spec'd as well though isn't yeah. it? I mean you've got a high a high powered spindle, you've got 80 bar through spindle coolant. Yeah. All of these things help with the certainly the materials you're machining because they're not easy are they? No they're not easy. Um, we, it, it came with a filtration system on the coolant, a paper filtration. We machine a lot of cast iron which makes the coolant deteriorate with time. It's early days, but it's looking really promising with regard to keeping the coolant nice, the machine stays clean inside, the flush facility or the washing area is, is very effective. And, and, and I come back to the upside down machining with gravity on your side. Have you seen um, an improvement in tool life as well? Yes, yet. Uh, because we're not re-machining the, the swarf that we've already cut, tool life's improved already. Difficult to, to quantify at the moment, we haven't done enough, but we have seen an improvement already. And having this um, pallet system here on the end, you know, when I first came in here, I thought this was a single table, well, it's a single table machine, but I didn't realise you'd got the, the pallet system on here as well. Yeah. That's all within that very neat footprint, isn't it? Absolutely. And means you can keep that spindle going and load from here. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, one of the criteria with us getting uh, a machine, we, the nature of our work, sort of small to medium volume, we require pallet machines really, uh, put down obviously on the loading time, uh, or the machine downtime I should say. Uh, so yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised to have uh, a pallet machine made available to us. And when you compared a part on your other mach five axis machine to this one, you said you got a better surface finish, it was, it was more precise and it came off quicker. Yeah. They're, they're all the three things that you need, Abs aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah, very impressed. Early days, Paul, but yes, very impressed with it so far. At uh, last point, how was the, the support and the installation and the training and everything from the point that you placed the order for this machine with Grob? Um, it's been very good. I, I knew Paul Reeves before with another machine purchase, um, but I've got to say, I'd get home in the evening when we were going through the process of trying to purchase it and Paul would drop me a text anything else I can help you with, you know, um, any hold-ups, and um, he was very attentive. Um, and and the far, I did say the final thing last time, but this really is the final thing. Some of the other manufacturers that you were looking at, um, the pricing, because people will be thinking, okay, where, where is the price point on this? Are you saying that this machine 
was, um, in your opinion, more competitively priced than some of the others that were on offer. Was it less than some new machines? It was less than some new machines, yes. Um, by the time you add on, if you'd have gone for a conventional 5-axis without the pallet changer, by the time you've added on a pallet system, it, it took it out, out of our price range. Um, and I say we always needed a machine with a pallet changer. So that was one of the criteria to, of us buying the Grob.